let us see what is the blood supply nerve supply of scalp so coming to the blood supply of scalp i'll make it simple and easy for you to remember this coming to the blood supply so we all know that blood supply includes arterial as well as venous please remember arterial supply and venous drainage so your vein should always drain and your artery should always supply venous drainage so let us take this as a simple diagram here okay so you are taking the upper view yes your vertical upper view of your scalp here okay we will just draw our ear or auricle on both the sides okay so let us take this as right and then let us take this as left so coming to the blood supply first we will see the arterial supply so what are the important arteries which are going to supply your scalp okay so please remember there are three arteries in front of your auricle and just two arteries behind your auricle or your ear what are these three arteries the medial most or the frontal one is the supratrochlear okay at this point just remember that this supratrochlear is a branch of ophthalmic artery which in turn is a branch of internal carotid artery why i am telling this i'll tell you the importance of that okay so which in turn is a branch of internal carotid artery next to supratrochlear you have another branch arising from your supraorbital region and this is referred to as supraorbital artery okay we just place artery supraorbital artery yes supraorbital artery is also in turn branch of ophthalmic artery which in turn is branch of internal carotid artery just in front of your ear you have an important branch which is called as superficial temporal artery yes superficial temporal artery this superficial temporal artery is branch of external carotid artery external carotid artery yes so you have three branches in front of the auricle and i said two branches behind the auricle behind the auricle you have posterior auricular artery posterior auricular artery posterior auricular artery is also a branch of external carotid artery behind the posterior auricle you have another important artery which is the occipital artery occipital artery is also a branch of external carotid artery so did you identify here so there are branches which are coming from the internal carotid artery and there are branches which are coming from the external carotid artery so scalp forms an area a rich area which shows an anastomosis between the branches of external carotid artery and the internal carotid artery please remember that point scalp forms an area which forms an important area for the anastomosis between the branches of internal carotid artery and the external carotid artery so if any of the arteries is been been blocked what will happen the other artery will be that is why in the previous uh, session i have told you that scalp has a rich blood supply yes rich blood supply from both the arteries of your common carotid artery for a complete understanding of the topic please download our app now from play store